Hi, my name's Sue Grant. Here we are looking at Cool Cat. She's a Discovery 55. She's from 2012, first commissioned in 2013, and she's hull number 41. They've made a little over 50 of these yachts, so she's a late yacht. And you're seeing her here in uh, Grenada, in the Caribbean, looking absolutely stunning with her flag blue hull. Underneath, she's copper coat, which was all new in uh, 2019. And as with all discoveries, she's got this great easy access transom. Now, here we are on deck. The deck was very lightly sanded last year. It's looking excellent. Here she is with her bimini and spray hood. Those were replaced in 2019. Looking very, very smart. Very shiny everywhere. We're just going through her wide side deck and up onto the foredeck. You can see the self-tacker here. She's got the Discovery Solent rig, as with all of her sisters. Twin furling at the front. Hood Vectran sails, which were replaced in 2019. A V5 Lumar windlass. And she's got a special setup for the anchor, which is easy, quick release. And then look back, lovely deck saloon, Seldan white painted alloy rig, all looking good. She's got a bearing out pole sitting on the mast. It's all in great condition. All the running rigging has been reviewed. Furling on the main, of course. Swept back spreaders, no need for runners. They're open spreaders, which look very smart, and you can see her radar there on the mast. Everything in the Discovery 55 leads back to the cockpit, so you don't need to leave for any sail handling. So she's great for very short-handed cruising. And now we're going to walk back and have a look at the spray hood, which has got access panels so you can see the sails when you're sailing. And here are her solar panels. They're new, they're flexible ones, and they're inset into the bimini. That's uh, a new setup with this owner, works really well. Um, into the cockpit. She's got the normal discovery bath in the aft section. Hot, cold and seawater, whatever you prefer. Big cockpit table. And she's got four primaries and secondaries. That's an upgrade on standard. And coming aft, she's got a pair of Cooney electric davits. This AB rib, which is from 2019 with a 20 horsepower Yamaha. That's where the video of her was taken from when we first opened. And then everything is on the pedestal. She's running on Raymarine. And you can see she's got a E90 panel for the Yanmar engine. Smart pilot, bow thruster. And then here is the control for the sails. Furling in and out for the electric main 
and also an electric winch for the two furlers forward. Lovely deep combings, ideal for stretching out and reading a book. And look at those palm trees, how cool is that? Okay, now we're going to have a look down below. And you've only got three steps, very easy access. One of the things that is spectacular about this yacht is the teak and poly sole boards. Normally, these yachts have laminate floors, which are very practical, but I have to say that these soles look amazing. She's also got the iconic Discovery table. This is new 2019. The previous first owners had an electric lift and uh, the second owner preferred to have the conventional look, which is lovely. She's got quarter sawn oak veneers and uh, solids for the joinery, which is really durable and looks lovely. There's an E120 here. Deck saloon windows, sides and a couple of the fronts have been replaced recently. And then you go past a really useful storage area. And we're going to walk forward into the guest accommodation. Look at those floors, don't they look wonderful? Uh, guest heads to starboard, upper and low uh, berth cabin to port, and then forward into the Ford VIP cabin, large double berth. You've got these useful cupboards, port and starboard, hanging lockers, port and starboard, there's also storage at the front end of the berth. Lots of light and air and ventilation. See how the mirrors are beveled. This yacht's got Tropical Airco. She's also got Ebersparker Central Heating, which uh, isn't being used, I'm guessing, right now, but is useful for northern waters sailing. And then here is a large heads compartment, a separated shower stall, very much needed. These are all handmade and are very easy clean. Cool Cat is in great shape, really does look good. Electric loo to match the one aft towel rail. The loos are salt water as well as uh, fresh water flush. And then here's a large and spacious upper and lower berth cabin. Lots of elbow room and storage. Cool Cat is British registered, so her official number is shown there. This is a really nice cabin. There's also storage beneath the lower bunk. All the headlinings are looking very fresh. She really is sparkling. All the cabins have these fans, which again is very useful in warm water. And then we're going to walk back down past this great area on the left to her super easy to understand switch panel. Her batteries were replaced recently, 2020. They're gel. TV just on the bulkhead there that we're just walking past now. And down into the galley with that legendary Discovery refrigeration. Fridge in front of us and to the right, a massive freezer. 
twin sink. There's a further drainer, espace cooker with four burners, oven and grill. Loads of ventilation, two ports to port, a large one to starboard and overhead as well. Microwave, there's a larder beneath that, loads of storage everywhere. She's got the salt water tap there as well. And now we are into the owner's cabin, king size berth. You've got his and hers hanging lockers, loads and loads of storage. Lovely vanity just there, again with the trademark beveled mirrors. Joinery's in really great shape. And then we walk into the owner's heads. Towel rail again, electric loo and another separated shower stall with a couple of surprises. So as we go in here and walk forward, we'll just have a look at what's behind this door. This is a Mealy washer dryer, full size, essential for blue water. And then just to port of that is a door into the engine space. And here is her Yanmar 160. It's got around 2000 engine hours. All the seacocks were replaced in 2019 and the two seacocks for the manifold more recently. Seafresh water maker. The owner's done quite a lot of work in the engine room. She's got a new exhaust thrust pairing. The propeller was replaced. It's a Gory in 2019. This yacht's had a lot of upgrades. Isolation transformer, great for cruising in the Caribs and the Quattro is there. The engine room is very well insulated and uh, when the engine's running on deck, you won't hear it at all. It's very quiet down below. She's also got a seven kilowatt Onan generator, which is situated forward of the main engine. And then back into this lovely owner's cabin. She's all light and bright and airy. And through this amazing galley, loads of work surfaces, more lovely flooring. So light and bright. She's of course got all the Caribbean covers. And then back into a large main saloon, sit down and see out. I think it's raining in the Caribbean at the moment. Discovery 55 041 Cool Cat, and she's exactly that. <laughs>